I think this is a very hard fought game by both teams. Uh, game of runs. First part of the game, I thought our guys were very anxious. I think we might have thrown two pounds, two passes up, up in the upper deck, uh, trying to find the right comfort level. And that just shows that our guys were anxious and very, uh, uh, I thought, uh, aggressive about wanting to win the game. Uh, we uh, dug a little hole for ourselves, but uh, the second unit came in and Scratched and clawed and clawed and scratched and got back in the game. Well, it was in striking distance at halftime. Thought the second half we improved defensively. Uh, thought did all the things that uh, they tried. They did all the things we asked them to do from a defensive standpoint. And uh, I was very concerned that we couldn't get to the free throw line. I thought we kept driving and trying to uh, take the ball inside. And, uh, I look now and see that they went to the line 22 times. Us with nine. It's obvious that we need to be a little more aggressive taking the ball to the basket, and that looks like that probably made the difference in the game. Uh, our inability to get to the free throw line and, and hit our free throws. As the game was winding down, we felt that we could not have been in a better position down one with a guy who's won two games for us uh, with the ball in his hands. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, it didn't turn out the way we wanted it. Uh, but this team was very hurt. I thought they were very disappointed that we didn't come away with a victory. I thought they fought very hard. And, and I think we'll learn from this game. Hopefully, you don't want to take a moral victory but in, in a loss. Uh, but uh, I, I thought that the youngsters really gave tremendous effort. Didn't necessarily always play well, but I thought our hearts were in the right place. Uh, we just made a, a few mistakes just a little too much in order to beat a very, very good basketball team like mine. Questions for Coach. Later on the final possession, should Dwayne have gone a little sooner because it was a one-point game, or did you like him? Well, I wasn't concerned. I, but you know, you got to—he has to be comfortable, you know, with in that, in that position. I, I thought that we didn't spread the floor well enough, and didn't get low enough on the baseline. He was kind of waiting for things to kind of clear out a little bit. He had plenty of time, you know, with the ball in his hands. He's a big, strong, he also very explosive, good free throw shooter, uh, and. Um, I just think that we crowded him a little too much, and um, I'd like to see him kept the ball, but um, uh, it just didn't turn out that way. I just think that we, I didn't want to call a timeout to give, to try to get back in that same situation. I don't think we could have been in a, in a better situation. The guys won two games for us uh, with the ball in his hands going down the stretch, so what I probably would have called a timeout and drew up a play to, to get the ball back to his hands when the game went down. So a lot of times, uh, I thought we were very fortunate to be in that situation. Unfortunately, we turned the ball over and just didn't get a chance to, to see what could have developed. Is that obviously a freshman just learning the, you know, going through some learning process a little bit? No, I, I don't think that was his issue. I just think that he was following direction. You know, he just, he, he he's unselfish and he moved the ball. And I'm not real sure as a team, we, we should have got flat on the baseline. And I basically, that's what we did with, with, with the exception of, it just didn't turn out the way we we normally would have had it, like we would like to have had it. And that's what happens sometimes when you have teams that are going through those situations uh, for the first time. I mean, you think about this game where it comes down to literally last possession. Think about last game where it, it, it wasn't that way. What do you think these guys take out of these last two games going forward? Well, I think we're still in a learning mode. There's no question about that. I mean, it's... You, you can't develop the type of habits that's necessary to play against experienced veteran teams um, in, in a short period of time. You just got to learn and grow, and the things that we are asking them to do uh, from game to game uh, are not habits yet. You know, they haven't been through it enough to continue to keep executing and, 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 and being as consistent as a older, more mature team would be. Uh, but the effort is good. They're attentive. They're allowing themselves to be coached. Now, what we got to do is learn from this game, put it behind us, because we got another team coming here on Wednesday. And even though they have not won a whole lot of games, you go back and watch the games. It's a typical ACC team that's been all has been very close in a lot of games, and we got to be at our best once again in order to be successful. All right, thank you very much. Uh, well, my coach, the first half of the bench was pretty much just carrying you guys all the way through. What was it about those guys' energy, especially Benji and Bojo? So there's, there's no doubt that 
that we are a basketball team. I'm not really sure we you can say, you know, that you have to start five guys, but Booker plays starters minutes. Uh, Jaquez is experienced enough to give us what we need. Benji, the junior college kid who's, who's been around a little bit, he was very confident in what he was doing. Um, Terrence is a guy who goes in the game and he just does what, he does all the dirty work. I mean, he rebounds well, he, he hustles, he defends. So, so, I mean, we, it's not much difference in, in eight or nine of those guys. Sometimes some might be a little better offensive players, but when you look at the little things that go on the win, and those guys are, uh, uh, have, have shown that they're more than capable. So we have a rotation, and uh, we expect those guys to be part of helping us win games. And I think they really did a pretty good job when we fought them a little bit there early. They came in and stabilized a little bit and, and gave us a chance to get back in the game. What do you think of the look you guys got with three seconds left on that last play? Uh, it wasn't a very good look at all. I mean, I mean, we don't, we've been talking about it for 10 minutes. <laughs> you know, uh, we would love to have had for uh, the floor to have been spread and the ball to have been in, in Dwayne's hand to, to, to uh, look, but we turned the ball over. That's, I think everybody saw that. Make, make those mistakes and it's part of the game. And unfortunately, we didn't come away with the shot that we intended them to get. I think about this game. Pitt, Iowa. What kind of seems to be the common thread? Because it seems like your teams can definitely stick in with top 15, top 20 teams. What do you think it is in that maybe last two or three minutes that's well, kind of I'm, the difference? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go over this again. Make sure I don't have to repeat myself. Yeah. We're not a very experienced team. And we make inexperienced mistakes. I think we're growing and getting better. I'm pleased with the effort, the coachability. Uh, we still have a, we still are growing. We still improve. And uh, you got to give Iowa credit. I was a very good basketball team. And so it's not sometimes it's not as much about what we don't do right. It's what some other teams do well. They're a good basketball team. And I thought that the, the difference probably tonight was the maturity level of, of, of Miami's team. I thought they made good decisions when the game's on the line. I thought they made big timely threes. Uh, I don't think they really turned the ball over. They got the ball where they wanted to. You know, we, we, we played well, but it's not well enough to win the game. It's a very good basketball team. Malik hasn't had very many nights like the one he had tonight. I guess you kind of expect that from freshman. Are you surprised that because he hasn't had one to this point that he kind of struggled in the field? Well, I, I think most coaches will tell you sometimes with first year players, you know, you won't, you, you expect them to have some nights when they're not as consistent as they have. And that's part of the growth and development process. You just learn from it and move on. For him to have been as consistent as he had been, says a lot about his character, his level of confidence, and his accelerated maturity. He's learning and growing. And, uh, I, I really, one thing about it when he had the streak going, and I'm, I'm not going to pay a whole lot of attention now, this, this over. It's kind of part of what college basketball is all about.